everyone, Lester here. So, ano ba talaga mga ginagawa na isang HubSpot specialist? I wanna give you a tour para you'll have an idea. If this is something you think you can do or you wanted to do in the future, then able to pursue this. Because this is so new. Like, five, ten years ago, hindi pa nag-exist itong mga ganyang trabaho. And uh, I wanna share this to you. So, hopefully, it helps someone. Again, if bago ka sa channel na to, uh, my name is Lester. I'm a digital marketer, entrepreneur, and HubSpot specialist. So, if uh, you're interested learning about that and knowing more about that, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Getting started. So, ito yung HubSpot, by the way. If you haven't heard of this, you just go to their website, which is HubSpot.com. Isa sa pinaka-importante malaman dito is, it's CRM. Yun yung core niya. CRM stands for Customer Relationship Management. So, basically, if may listahan ka ng mga customer mo, that's a starting point ng CRM. Yan, sama ko sa vlog ko. <laughs> okay, hi ka. Yan. So, yan. Sigab pala. Kasama ko din sa ginagawa ko. Sa ngayon, training siya to do HubSpot. Pero HubSpot kasi sobrang malawak siya. So, maraming kailang explore at maraming kailang matutunan before you can actually start working on HubSpot. Pero yung papakita ko sa inyo is probably yung pinakang basic niya so that you'll have an idea. Parang overview lang siya. The tool is combination of a lot of different tools for your marketing or digital marketing, sales, digital sales, at uh, service, which is customer service. Pero marami ding tools siya for your CMS, content management. So, I'll explain later ko ano ito. Ito yung kikreate ka ng website, huwag kikreate ka ng mga blogs, mga ganon. And then, kapag gusto mo din mag-create, uh, if you wanna manage your operations then, especially online operations. So, there's a lot of things you can do and with this amount of time, you really can't cover everything. Pero it's good thing if you can have some sort of overview. Ano ba talaga itong mga modules na to? So, yun yung gagawin natin ngayon. Tara, let's log in and I'll show you around. So, para kanina usually itong mga gitong trabaho. Ako, nag-start ako as designer. Uh, mahilig talaga ako sa computer, mahilig ako sa mga online internet stuff. Pero ang core ko talaga is yung Photoshop, paggawa ng mga designs, ganyan. Yun yung doon ako nagsimula. That's an important skill. Pero if you wanna do digital marketing general, maganda rin na meron kang background sa business. Kasi sales, marketing, and, and customer service are obviously business processes. Maganda rin na may idea ka sa mga numbers, sa mga accounting, yan. Communication, because marketing is and sales are whether written communication or oral communication. Those are all super important skill set that you want to have if you want to do this. And then yun nga technical. I wouldn't say super technical naman siya. It's more of business level technical. Ang importante dito is you can explain mga jargons and yung mga technical stuff to other business people. So you bridging the gap between the technical and the business side of things. So going back, pagkatao ko sa yung mga modules. So and uh, pl probably explain to you ano mga ginagawa ko din doon. So in this case, makita niyo may mga tabs tayo dito, di ba? So contacts, uh, conversations, marketing, sales, service, automations, and reports. Kung unang gusto mong maintindihan dito is ito yung pinakang main na mga departments kung kung isipin mo sa sa HubSpot. Yung contacts natin, dito nandito yung lahat ng ating mga you know, from the word itself, mga contacts, ito yung mga listahan ng mga tao na gusto mo kasama, whether it's customer or uh, mga potential customers, subscribers, anyone that's relevant to your business, makita mo siya dito. Makita mo rin lahat ng companies kung, kung yung mga contacts nito, they are connected to a company. And then, you can also record your calls kung meron kang customer service or contact center, pwede mo siyang record lahat ng calls mo dito para mabalikan mo sila, ma-review mo sila, matingin mo yung quality ng mga calls mo or just any information na kailangan mong balikan in any of your calls. So, I'm planning to do one video, in-depth videos for all these modules para really can go in-depth and get you a better understanding a career path na gusto mo. Activity feed, another good feature ni HubSpot is pwede mong matrack yung, kasi this is a collaboration tool din eh. Di ba nga, andito yung marketing mo, yung mga sales people mo, yung service. It's a good thing if you can track their activities, how they collaborate, can track mga sinasin lang emails itong specific account na to hindi pa siya nakalagay pero activities din ng mga customers mo you can track them here so uh, we'll go through it in a separate video another one is list so list are your segmentation dito mo ngayon makikita yung mga different categories ng yung mga contacts pwede mo siya separate into customers prospects pwede mga partners mo mga suppliers so lahat yun pwede mong ma-separate into list and why is it important for example gusto mo mag-send ng ng email sa mga customers lang then you just pick that list send ng email for example gusto mo lang mag-send sa mga prospects mo or mga leads or mga customers mo divided into different products kung ano yung saan sila ka-subscribe o ano yung mga binibili ng products sa'yo diba 
or pwede ding per branch customers mo per branch so there's a lot of things you can do uh, this is essentially your segmentation if you know marketing and business in general segmentation is super important so next up syempre meron ka lang contacts database to have a way to to talk to them in this case in HubSpot you can talk to them through emails which is your inbox pwede ring chat you can connect your chat sa, sa website uh, ito namang snippets at templates yung snippets or canned messages na mabilis mong mapupull out kapag kailangan mo mag reply for example typical answers to look, like how much are your products or do you deliver or your typical questions instead of you typing them out you just pull out a hashtag and then you can get the canned message for that yung templates may just similar siya pero ang difference ng templates is full email siya hindi siya short messages lang the next part is yung marketing natin now dito marami rami yung jargons yung may encounter natin here are the things na you can manage digital marketing aspects na you can manage in HubSpot first thing is ads when you say ads your Google ads, your Facebook ads, your LinkedIn ads, social media ads, diba? So you can track them in one place. So next one is you can also create emails or marketing emails within HubSpot. When we say what marketing emails, the other tools that you can compare this is yung ating mga MailChimp, yung mga Send in Blue, yung mga active campaigns. So maraming email marketing tools. So meron siya within HubSpot. So imagine before it's a separate tool, but in HubSpot it's it's just one of the many tools that's within the, the platform, diba? Landing pages is, is essentially just it's a kind of or specialized web page. So it's really part of website. And then, meron din tayo yung mga, pwede din tayo create ng website at blog within HubSpot. Imagine that. Usually, yung mga kilalang mga website platform is yung WordPress, yung Wix, yung Shopify, yung, uh, ano ba ba? yung Magento, yung ating uh, Webflow, yung medyo bago yan. So, maraming iba ibang content management system. And again, this one is within HubSpot. Imagine that everything is in your, on your fingertips in one place if, as, as a marketing, sales, and service professional, diba? Then, this one is not activated on my account, pero social, you can also schedule posts uh, in different social media using HubSpot. Uh, whether it's LinkedIn, Twitter, uh, not yet TikTok, I think they're still working on that. LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, similar to your Hootsuite, your Buffer, pwede mo silang gawin lahat dito. And then you can also manage your SEO. So if you're not familiar with SEO, it's short for search engine optimization. So ito yung paraan natin para yung mga website pages natin, especially mga blogs or mga articles natin, pwede nating marang sa Google so people can find them. It's a long complicated process pero you can you can Google that and you'll see uh, the different processes. And you know, it, it, it's a career in itself if you're an SEO specialist. Pretty much all of this, you could be an email specialist, you could be an ad specialist, you can be a landing page specialist. My, my specialty is more on website, building websites using these tools. After you build your website, of course, you can do your SEO. All of these, you can connect them and see it on a high level view, meaning you can track them, you can check kung kumikita ba talaga, kung ano ba yung results ng mga marketing mo using campaigns. So this is another module na kumbaga more of on the reporting side of things. Design tools, you'll see here yung mga files natin. Uh, if you want to get more technical in building your website, you can also do so. Which Meaning, you know, so mong pakilaman yung codes. But this is not necessary. Like, you can build website kahit di ka mag-code sa, sa HubSpot. That's another advantage. I, I think yun naman yung push ngayon eh. Like, uh, HubSpot building is more for marketers, not really for technical people. So, you should be able to do it even without the help of a developer. Pero if kailangan mo talaga ng mga functionalities na medyo advanced, medyo komplikado, uh, specialized, then that's where the coding comes in. And last but not the least, uh, yung ating mga forms. Again, most website builders have their own form builders. At maraming marami to, mga jot form, mga iba-ibang klaseng website uh, form builders. It's within HubSpot then. So you can also track yung mga non-HubSpot forms dito. We'll create separate videos for each one of these para mas malino sa atin. That's it for marketing. And then sales, ito naman yung mga ginagawa natin sa sales. You can create deals. So deals, you can track yung ating mga potential sales. So, for example, may, may bibili na sa'yo and this especially for B2B companies. Yung mga, maalalaki yung mga deals natin at maraming components. Mga software natin, may software service, may mga uh, hardware components. So, we want to make sure it's in one sort of documentation and you know, who owns this, what stage it is on the buying cycle. If you're not in sales and ano, medyo mahirap pang uh, ma-figure out ang mga, mga jargons na to. Pero what's important is we know that in HubSpot, pwede ka talagang mag-track ng mga, mga sales processes natin. And then, forecast, ito naman, you can set a target. For example, uh, this month, gusto mo mag-target ng 
100 million for example by setting your your forecast you can set a goal and then you can try and achieve that kung uh, through time you'll figure out what's the the right amount to forecast and through data mahalaga's na record natin siya sa tool para nalalaman natin kung tama ba yung forecast natin and realistic ba yung mga goals na sineset natin and then task uh, from the word self self explanatory naman siya you can track yung mga ginagawa ng bawat team members natin so whether it's meeting calls to do list uh, we can track all of them here then i documents by documents ito yung mga sales documents to sa marketing may mga sarili din siyang document kind of repository pero hindi siya activated sa sa account ko na to pero we'll probably find an account now we can discuss that with you and then meetings ito naman if you have meeting links you can basically send your customer something like this people can book meetings with you uh, depends availability na ilalagay mo. So, this is another awesome feature ni HubSpot. It's like Calendly, if you've seen Calendly. Next up, uh, payments. You can manage and process payment through HubSpot. Pero this one, I'll be honest, medyo bago to. Hindi ko pa ito nagagamit. And Playbox. And wala din siya sa aking subscription. Pero you can build library of sales, best practices, and resources. Especially yung mga ano. Like I've worked with, with call centers. Yung mga scripts natin. Yung mga SOPs natin. Put all of them here and then manage them here. I'll probably sign up with a 14-day free trial at one point so we can see all these features na medyo mas advanced. Pero uh, dito naman ngayon, FYI lang siya. So let's do that in another video. Last but not the least, and the sales modules are your quotes. Quotes natin is yun, yung actual potential sales natin. So we can send this through a, a link to our customers. Then dun yung, yung mga potential nilang bilhin. Parang proposal siya. Quotation. Yan, yan. So if they agree to it, then you can say yes, and that will be a sale. So we can track all of them here as well. Next up, yung ating mga service. Yung core ng service is yung ticketing system. So if they have problems, they have inquiries, they have questions, they can raise that to us, and then we can keep track of that. And then we will see kung may mga bago ba, mga waiting in contact. And we can actually create our own statuses here. But most important is we would know kung alin yung na-close natin and hindi pa. So we can, you know, make sure that we, we serve our customers properly. And then part of your customer service and ticketing system, you can have feedback surveys. You know, if you're in the customer service industry, you'll know the, the term, uh, yung mga NPS natin, yung mga CSAT, customer satisfaction. So it's, these are surveys that you can build in HubSpot. Tapos, you can send it to them. So gauge their happiness level or satisfaction sa ating service. Uh, knowledge base, this is a uh, service knowledge base. For example, may mga... So, yung mga customers natin, may mga same questions na tinatanong sa atin pa ulit-ulit, you might as well build some sort of an article and then we can just send it to them instead of answering the same question over and over again, di ba? So, but knowledge base is not limited to that. You can build a lot of guides, answers natin to potential uh, customer inquiries. Pwede natin lahat talaga sila dito. And customer portal. So, empower customers to, to get help, information they need. And self-service naman siya. So, yung ticketing system natin, pwede natin connect dun sa ating... Uh, knowledge base, if I don't find the answers on my knowledge base, pwede rin akong mag-contact sa ating uh, support or sa ating ticketing system. That way, you know, we give people options. And yan, if we have a customer portal, then they can log in there and ask for help. Yan, that covers the, the main modules that, that HubSpot answers. Ito na yung ano natin eh, yung three main business areas, marketing, sales, and service. Of course, in any organization, may mga ibang departments pa tayo, like yung IT natin, HR, recruitment. They're not part of HubSpot, at least for now. They're not part of the areas that HubSpot serve. The next level to this is yung ating automation. We have our contacts, we have conversations, we have marketing, sales, and service. We should be able to automate them or we use machines or our computer to do certain stuff na can't do as human, di ba? Dalawang klaseng workflows natin. Isa is uh, sequence, which is for emails, and workflows can do a lot more than just emails. Again, we'll try and find another account na activated yung ating um, workflows so I can show you guys how this works. Let's use advanced automation to run your email campaigns, moving prospects down the funnel, and generating more qualified leads. So there's tons of things you can do here. So uh, super excited to share this to you on future videos. And last but not the least, yung ating reporting tools. So there's a lot of pre-made tools that you can simply generate. But if you wanted to build your own, you can definitely do so. You can manage your data here. You can integrate this with other reporting tools. For example, your Google Data Analytics, Google Data Studio. Sorry, data tools like your Power BI. Natin. Uh, most companies have their own data tools. Uh, I use SEMrush as one. 
so you can connect that with your or Google Analytics obviously so you can connect them all of them in HubSpot there's a lot to cover but don't wanna bore and and overwhelm you with information so what's important is I'll give you a preview these are some things that I I'm involved with I obviously don't do all of them most of my day I spend collaborating with people I talk to them I understand what they need and then from the, the, the tools that I've mentioned I figure out what's the best tool to use and how to implement them it takes a lot of experience and sabi ko nga yung background knowledge natin about marketing sales and customer service tactical and of course learning the tool is the one of the biggest component to it don't get overwhelmed I mean this is this is something that you should be learning one step at a time if you want to get into this career but one thing I can assure you, this is worth it. If you're someone who enjoys collaborating with people, if you enjoy the things done on an automated way, if you love digital marketing and sales and service, then this is a kind of career that you can pursue as well. So that's it for this video. I hope this helped. Hope you stay tuned for all the other videos that I'll be uh, putting in this channel about this topic. Because I'm really passionate about this. I think this will be very helpful for a lot of people if they learn to. Because this is super in demand. I, I myself is getting a lot of inquiries. I would love to share those opportunities with other people who would love to learn. Especially yung mga may head start na. Nung may, may konting alam na. If you want, you can uh, reach out to us. I'll put the links on the description box below. We're actually uh, looking for people who wanted to train for free. And then we can uh, look into deploying to, to a lot of the opportunities that we have. Hope this helps. Again, my name is Lester. And thanks for watching. And see you in our next video. Bye-bye.